Hi, um, today I'm going to show you how to use the rest of the menus in Finder. So, we'll start with the first one, File. File, the File menu has a lot of useful features and a lot of things that you can do using other quicker means, but uh, it's important to review it anyway. So, you can, uh, the first one, New Finder Window, is if you click on it, it just opens a new finder win window. It doesn't do anything special, really. Um, you can also achieve this by going to the dock and clicking Finder, or clicking Command N. Uh, Command is right next to the space bar, so that's a way to do the same thing. New folder that just creates a new folder wherever you are. So I was on the desktop, so it created a new folder there. Um, but if I was, let's say, in movies, if I click new folder, it would make a new folder there. Um, so that's uh, really useful, but there's better ways. If you right click, then you can click new folder, and that's a lot faster, according to me, than going all the way up into the, into the menu. Or you can click over here on the settings and click new folder that works too so there's better ways of doing it um, new smart folder this is a new feature a really important feature a really awesome feature so if you click new smart folder um, it creates you can search something for example so if I search screen flow all these two documents show up and I can save it as a smart as a smart folder and I can also add to the sidebar if I'd like um, so let's say I just save this in a screen flow. save and now these two items come up and it's not like a regular um, folder because if I click on one of them here it shows the path and it's still in my movies folder and if I create a new document, it'll still show up. It'll update the folder, and it'll show up in here. So, and, yeah, that's really awesome. Another awesome thing about it is if you click New Smart Folder and click this plus icon right next to Save, you can choose different parameters for the folder. So I can choose kind is PDF and... La um, and the name match it contains about and uh, I don't have any items but uh, you can create a folder like that save you don't have to save it into your sidebar you can save it on your desktop if you'd like and call it about PDFs save and it's on my desktop I can open it up and everything updates real time, all the time. So if I get a new PDF that has it, it'll pop up in here. Uh, I use them a ton, a lot, but um, people use it differently. Uh, new burn folder. A burn folder is pretty much a folder you create to have to put stuff onto a CD or DVD. So if I just call this CD1, let's say. Open it up. And let's say I want to move this DT folder onto it. I just copy it onto here and it doesn't show the real size. It has this little shortcut icon. And when I click burn, it'll ask me for a blank disk and it'll automatically burn it. So that's just a burn folder. Um, now, these four here and also these right here, the ones that are grayed out, you need a uh, you need to select an item for it. So I'll just use for now um, an item I have in my documents. This is a text document created with TextEd. And I'll go up here and you can see these are all um, showing up. So open. Pretty self explanatory. It opens the document. Better way is to just double click and opens. Or if you really want to, right click, click open. And if you really do want to, Command-O, that also opens the document. Um, 
if you click open with, it'll show you all the applications that can open it, and it'll open it with that. So you could open it with AIM if you really wanted to. You could also open it with Bean, which is another alternative word processor. So that's open with um, print. That just prints the document. I don't have a printer set up, but the usefulness of this is you can select, let's say, all 12 of these documents and click print and it print all 12. So we don't want to individually open each one. Sorry. Um, that's really um, useful. Close window just closes the current window. You can see there. Just close that window. Um, get info. That gets the info about a certain document, so sorry, I click compress. Um, I click get info, then it tells me kind rich text document, size, where it is, created, spotlight comments, that's for spotlight. More info, name and extension, open with, what it'll open with most of the time. So that type of stuff is in the get info. Um, compress. I just by mistake did this, but compress pretty much creates a zip file, which is a compressed version of all the files. So you can see all of these files are four kilobytes each, correct? So I'm going to select all 12 and compress. And there's an archive now that has all of these together. And you can see this is four, um, this is four times 12, which is 48 kilobytes, and it's compressed here into eight kilobytes. So it really reduces the size, and if I double click it, it'll just create a folder, and all my documents are there. So this is a way to share files with people, you can compress photos, videos, etc. Um, duplicate just creates a duplicate copy. I just made another copy of the same document. Um, make alias, that's just a shortcut. So I can move this to the desktop, let's say, and if I open this up, it opens this document. But it, this isn't an actual document, it's a shortcut to the other document. Um, then uh, if I go here, quick look. Quick look is a way to show a quick preview or a quick look at a document. So if I just select this, it just pops up and I can see what the document is, but I can't edit it. I have to actually open it. Um, an easy way to open up Quick Look is click the space bar when selecting a document. Let's say I select this one, click space, it opens, you can see it. You can click the full screen button, show full screen. Um, that's a really nice way. If I just go into, let's say documents, click a random document, about stacks, I can just see it, go full screen, scroll, it's a really, really useful feature, especially when going through movies, let's say. Um, okay. Another one is add to sidebar. This, if I just do this, it adds it to here, the places, so I have that easily accessible. It's, that's really important really really important if you're using an item all the time so for example I have um, I don't know my movies I use it all the time you can drag it into here or you can uh, select this go up to file add to sidebar and it's already added so it's not gonna let me add it um, move to trash again just moves it to the trash eject that's for drives, for example, my camera, eject, burn, that's another thing, find. Find just makes a search of that item, so I can just search DC, or red, or whatever, there's no documents on there. Um, and label, another self-explanatory one, label, just choose a color. And I can just label it. So that is the file menu in Finder.